hey, everybody. Two, two boys. boys, one brain cell. I'm Joel. I'm Chuck. I'm boy number one. <laughs> I'm the best boy. You made it sound weird. I don't know why, but it definitely made it weird. Like the best hey, boy. But it's only awkward if you make it awkward. Uh-huh, I'm making it awkward. That's what I do best. Jar of fears. Is that got, like jar of dirt? Got a big old jar of fears right next to me. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> there. Jar of dirt. So I have heard some songs off of this album. I cannot remember if I've heard this or not, so I will let you guys know. Okay. But in the meantime, we should just escape from the zoo and send it. Okay. Did he say the bullshit never ends, so you should probably just break shit? <laughs> I think he said face it. But... Oh, face it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I was watching jars get shattered, so Dude. my mind must have put the words in there. It's a, a song way. about facing your fears and break. not letting them control you. Good, 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 good. <laughs> At least that's what I got from it. I was like, is this Slim Biscuit? No. <laughs> Just joking. Just joking. Yes. <laughs> just yes, kidding. Just kidding. Oh, shit. Very clearly. <laughs> Break stuff. <laughs> okay, I'm just making sure you got that. Uh, yeah. I know your, your names there. What? I'm bad with most names, but <laughs> there are some. He said there are some. That what? song is one of them. <laughs> what did you think, bud? I enjoyed this. Dude, I love the pacing. The drums was hitting really nice for me. For some reason, they were really popping. Mm-hmm. And the drums actually did really sound good. Yeah, and then you you give me a song about facing your fears, and I'm like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Send. I'm afraid of mannequins, but I still go clothes shopping. <laughs> Never even thought about that. Does it make you sweat a little bit? No. There's no head on. Even usually, when you like, so even when you like, look over and one's just staring right at you. Right into your soul. That one will give me. I a can tell it's bothering body. you just thinking about it. <laughs> That'll give me a little uncomfortable. <laughs> you think I'm not afraid of anything? Yeah. Okay. Spiders, bro. <laughs> Fucking spiders. <laughs> I'm not even joking. I don't care. I, I There's know. no shame in my game. <laughs> spiders terrify me. I know. Arachnophobia is not a joke. I walk in. I've walked in the bathroom, seen giant spider on the floor backed out of bathroom said honey 
<laughs> I love it. For sure. And then I want to use the other restroom. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Dude, growing up, my mom was like that. She's always been like that with spiders, too. So yeah. my dad's at work. She she walked in the bathroom. She's like, Charlie, what's going on? I walked in there. It was huge. Yeah, no, 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 no. Mm-mm. It wasn't even a spider, though. It, it was a cave-dwelling cricket. Oh, yeah, those things get massive. It, it was huge. Yeah. It, it creeped me out a bit. Really? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. And you don't like cockroaches. I hate them. What's scarier, cockroaches or bed bugs? I mean, I'd burn my house down for less. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just cockroaches. waiting. I'm just waiting. Really? Yeah. They, it's just like they creep you out. Yeah. Because bed bugs are like legitimately impossible to get rid of. I feel like, I, like they're harder. Yeah, I agree with that. They kind of creep me out. Honestly, if I had bed bugs, I'd be like, okay. We got to fix this now, but if I eat cockroaches, somebody else is fixing it now. I think either way, you're probably stuck with somebody else doing it. Probably. Because uh, from what I've heard, yeah. at least, it's pretty gnarly. Need professionals. <laughs> but cockroaches, uh-uh, uh-uh. He said, uh-uh. <sighs> heights, I'm also afraid of heights. I am too. You know, it's funny. Oddly enough, like I can get up and be fine. You parasailed. Yeah. By the way, I just saw a parasailing, parasailing video where they this guy was doing it by a storm. Oh, goodness. And it snapped the, the rope holding him. So he was just flying. Oh, And goodness. it was some surfer dude talking. He's like, well, they just lost that, dude. I was like, oh, my God. But then I first thing I thought of was oh. you. And I was like, nope. Well, take parasailing off hey, the list. It was a clear, beautiful, sunny day in Florida. When I went, <laughs> I ain't risking it. Oh, come on. It's not that bad. They dip you in the water a couple times. That had me white knuckling. I bet. <laughs> I bet. So you're like, I don't want to. Fear one, meet fear two. Oh, yeah, the water. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. <laughs> so let's put them together. <laughs> you're afraid of the sky and this, the water. Like, yeah. <laughs> you just said, no. So I'm parasailing over the Gulf of Mexico. <laughs> oh, man. So the only thing I can think of when you hit, like skydiving into the ocean I while do. hugging a mannequin. <laughs> I'd do it. <laughs> that, that's the only way for you to face your fears. It I'm, would terrify I'm, me, but I would do it. And then I'm going to have to have like a fear factory thing where they just dump spiders on me to break mine. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to do it. There's no way. Hey, Justin, you, know, you remember that time I you scream like a little girl. scorpion? Mm-hmm. If you ever pull something like that on me, I'll buy you a tarantula. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I know. I do, though. <laughs> Mm-mm. Let's not do that. And the best part is, I'll just give it to your kids. A pet tarantula? Yep. Aren't they poisonous? No. I've never had a tarantula. Well, I don't think the pets are. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes yeah. sense. Are they poisonous in the wild? I don't know. I think so, maybe. There's so many different kinds, too, though. Yeah. Who knows? Let's get a bird-eating tarantula. Well, you know the song was good when it sent us into a podcast style, just <laughs> willy We've been nilly. Doing this a lot lately too, yeah. um, and I like it. <laughs> Me too. Me too. The song, though. Yes, the song. The song. It had a really nice flow. There was actually a little ska sound back there in the background, dude. It sounded good. Hmm. Um, I really like. You know, I've struggled before with uh with his vocals, just in like his days to day, in days and days. Yeah. I really love this last album of Escape the Zoo for the songs I've heard on it. Yeah. Is this one off the newest one or is this off the one before that? I'm not sure. I don't know. Um, but there's a few songs on that newer one. We've reacted to one or two already. And then there's a song called uh Learning Curve. Oh my god, dude. Yeah. It's it's a banger. Uh oh. That's like high nines for me. Uh oh, it's, it's a banger. It's a good ass. Song. So I need to listen to this. You huh? would love it. Yeah, maybe we'll double it up, double it up later with another okay. one because we do have more escapes from the zoo coming up. All right. Um, and I do think that was actually in the request list, anyways. So perfect. Yeah, ratings. Yeah, where are you rating this one, buddy? I'm gonna go with a six point five playlist. It's going in a playlist. I like it. I love the vibe they laid out. I love the lyrics behind it. Vocals sounded great. 
Instrumental sounded fantastic. Video was fun. Check, check, check. Hell yeah. And I'm going 7.4. Mm. Mm. For all those reasons, plus, I love just that theme of facing your fears. Mm-hmm. Always face what, what you're afraid of head on. It'll help you get through it. Unless it's a bus. Then don't do that. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> or a rhino or a hippo. Anything like that. Avoid that. Don't don't listen to Chuck on those. No. Pet the rhino. Yeah. Don't do that. <laughs> Stay away from wild hippos, though. That's a bad move. <laughs> Dude, yeah, they're brutal. <laughs> they, were, they, will, they are very scary animals, actually. <laughs> yeah. And they're a lot faster than they look. They are. Have you ever seen one, like, just chasing behind one of those Jeeps? It's like T-Rex from Jurassic Park, yeah. dude. It's like, hell no, dude. He's like, uh, can the Jeep go faster? Please? <laughs> For real. Please? I don't want to see this end. When I'm sweating watching the video, <laughs> like, you know, it's scary. You're like, ah, uh, hippos ain't nothing to mess it's with, like, dude. Why does that thing move like a semi-truck? It's just insane. Pure muscle, dude. Yeah. Do- doesn't look like it's muscular, but damn, or the pure uh-huh. muscle. Okay, that's it. That's all we got. Podcasting over. <laughs> There's our song review. Shout out to our boy Timmy for the pick. Thank you. If you guys enjoy the content, hit that like button. If you guys enjoyed the song, make sure you guys go check out some more from Escape the Zoo, Our Days and Days, their other band. Either way, um, hit subscribe if you uh, want to join our little community and have some fun. And yell at us for the podcast style if you don't like it. Yeah, yeah do that. Yell at Chuck, yeah. though. Yeah, just me. It's fine. He, he likes it. I do. He likes when people yell at him. He's like, oh, cool. It's like he wakes in the morning and he's like, oh, random people yell at me. Yes. Oh, that's a my, hate comment. My day is Somebody made. Somebody doesn't like me? Chuck's like. No. <laughs> he, he says, Somebody doesn't like me. He chucks, I made it. It's five in the morning. I made it. We did something. We people, pissed them off. Somebody hates me. Let's go. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, guys. We got to go. Peace out. Peace. <laughs>